The idea of the tense moments during and immediately after that deadly shooting. It's tough to listen to, but here's how it sounded as the chaos played out this morning. We have officers down, and we can't get them out. Get down in the hole. Get off to them. And here's additional, additional people up here by the pool. Those words you just never want to hear. That was the call made by deputies this morning after Deputy Ishmael was shot. CBS 13's Anna Giles is at the scene for us tonight, which is still very busy. Anna? Yeah, police have been out here for hours and hours gathering evidence. We're going to zoom in for you and give you a live look at what's going on right now. You're seeing an animal control truck in front of you. It's been here for about an hour, and we've seen them uh, pick up at least one animal from the property. Police say they have two people in custody, but they're telling us that there could be more suspects out there tonight. Neighbors say they heard the shots around midnight and didn't understand what was going on. It was just like... Oh my lord, my fight or flight mode kicked in and it was like, stay calm. We woke up to gunshots. We woke up to gunshots? Yeah, gunshots and helicopters and sirens. A neighborhood people describe as quiet and secluded becomes the focus of a major police investigation. It's a little nerve wracking, yeah, but I'm sure they have it all under control. The El Dorado County Sheriff says two people are in custody in connection to this shooting. One of them had been shot and was taken to the hospital. At this point, we don't know whether there are any outstanding suspects. And how, in an abundance of caution, we're making sure that the area is safe for residents. Leslie Rich lives just yards away from the home where Deputy Brian Ishmael was shot. She says he's responded to this neighborhood before. I started crying when I saw it on TV. I was just like so emotional. Oh, I felt so sorry for him. I felt really, really bad. Yeah, neighbors have been dealing with a lot out here today. In addition to all the commotion over the shooting, these neighbors, some of them are also in the midst of these PG&E power shutoffs. So a lot going on out here today. No doubt. Mm -hmm. Anna, thank you.